is actually a few days since the last video or clip. I don't know how I'm gonna edit it, but yes. So we're um, wearing sweaters because it's cold in Florida. Yeah, so it is, it, shoot, it feel like in the 50s right now. It gotta be probably even the 40s, mm -hmm. but it's pretty cool for us. So we got our warm gear on. So I talked to you guys in the last video clip about showing you the new convertible car seats because our baby girl is growing up and she's nine months and it's officially time. I think David kind of been ready to transition her because he has been trying to neglect the infant car seat anyway, which I don't know why, but he's been like, he's rather get her out than actually using the car seat. So yeah, the car seat's heavy, so it's just easier getting her out. <laughs> <laughs> and she's heavy. I don't know. She got to be at least 21, 22 pounds. She's growing. Yeah. So she's getting tall. So we're going to start off this video by unboxing the convertible car seats that we bought we bought two of them and they're by maxi cozy and it's the magellan i think that's how you say it five and one it's supposed to grow with them for a while um so she will be using this for a, a while we got two of them because we ain't got time to be going back and forth between cars and especially since we have another baby going on our way we need it two anyway mm -hmm. it's possibly we need two more down the road but we'll see how that bridge cross when we get there but two more when the, for the new baby okay when the <laughs> new baby gonna be in the one we got the other one There's just the, keep them in one car you gotta keep two in one car mm -hmm. That don't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. Baby girl is asleep in the other room, so we're gonna hurry up and try to go in there because you know we so only might have to be quiet. Yeah, so we might be a little low, might need to do a little over music or something like that, but you, you know, just come with us as we continue to transition with baby girl. This is it. Yeah, like you on like, <laughs> what's it is? I'm the, um, the Will, Will of Fortune? Yeah, Banner White or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I said that, but right, but yeah, the Magellan XP all in one. We got a really good deal on this actually. Uh, we got this for 237 and the regular price is 350 So we did really good before Black Friday. Listen up, listen up. A little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that thing right there. It is a little blue. I thought it was all black. I like this color though. Yeah, it comes with the like the little head thing. I don't even know how that goes in there. I guess that's the manual. I got the little side impacts. This is not gonna be like a detailed video of like how to use it and all that because there's plenty of videos about that on YouTube, and we gonna be have to figure this out so. Yeah, that's too much. I don't think I know the headrest move. <laughs> and that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. So she got a big girl seat. So we officially got to take out the other one. It's soft. It's soft? It's softer than the car seat. Let's see. I wonder does all this stay in? I think that just depends on the child's size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now we got to officially take the old car seats, put this in. But we don't even know how to put this in. Nope. We got this back here. See, this is exactly why this is not a tutorial. You know what I'm saying? So, no, no, we don't. Nah, just watch us get our life together. A whole new world. Gotta take that out. Excuse the car child. 
I got her to take it out. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. It's going with Nala. See, you see latches like this? Run. Oh, Jesus. Oh, they know they wrong for that. Okay. Don't get that. This is stupid. Really stupid. Now that that's done, got to figure out how to put this one in. Hey, baby. What you doing? What you doing? See how you like it. You, you going to put you in your car seat, baby. You ready? You ready? You don't know what's going on. Uh-uh. You look a little squeezed in there. Yeah, probably this back. Well, she probably don't need that. You still look a little... Hey, baby. She look like I don't understand. You can put your toys right in the cup. You got something to chew on. For now, at least. Seems good with it so far. Do I need do we need to put the hair thing down? Yeah. Let me put it for sure. Did you pull it up? I don't feel like she it. She ain't gonna be able to look at you no more. Huh? She ain't gonna be able to look at you no more. Nah. In the back. <laughs> you independent now. Okay, let me put this tight. Oh, how do you tighten it? Is that not how you tighten it? Do I gotta actually Push this now to tighten it. I'm tighten this. Did you try pushing it down? Yeah. Lord, this is why we need a manual. <laughs> I thought we just pulled it last time when it tightened. How do you tighten this? She's trying to eat. <laughs> I'm no, it. Is that as tight as it goes? No, because it's not tight. You look so big in that car seat. She's doing good while well, I'm trying to figure this out. Yeah, big girl. Okay, let's see. You gotta be like this. Well, the chest part is tight. Okay, let's try it go. Can't move. So we're back still trying to figure out this car seat situation. So now he is about to start taking everything apart while I watch baby girl and let's hope for the best. There over there she loves this little fake fireplace. Well, I guess he's fake. <laughs> Cause it is fake. Cause then why would it's better to say it's fake and be like why she's so close to it. See? So, there we go. I got it. You is going. Where you going? <laughs> Where you going? The, the blue man ain't over there. Go. <laughs> she trying to sit on me. <laughs> okay, so. That's her new thing now. She has learned. Oh, yeah. wow. You make me look bad. But she has learned to sit up on her own now. I don't know since when. We just came home one day and she started doing that. So let's point to David, child. Where's my phone at? I had the instructions. It's on, it's on the floor when we're, we were. So y'all know how we made the playroom. And y'all probably like, why is all the play toys in here? Well, the thing is, is that we ain't got nowhere comfortable. Hold on, child. We ain't got nowhere comfortable for us to sit in there. And then also, at least one of these have to be out for when David gets ready in the morning. So that he can just put her in something and still be able to kind of watch her and get dressed at the same time. So, one of these at least has to be in here. And the mama room, it didn't make sense to be in the room. Because when we use it, it's usually when we're like watching TV and stuff like that. And like I said, there's no comfortable place in the room to sit right now until we figured it out so i just brought well david brought these two in here so that she can be able to play so we're gonna make this playroom thing work Wait, this video seemed a lot easier than it did 
than what we just saw. Hold on. You might want to look at a couple videos. Because <laughs> that video... video... Just put the, it just put the car seat through the back and that was it. Okay, you may want to look at it too. Because the videos I've been watching, none was that intense. Why the dog paying attention to? This thing just said, remove the infant uh, parts that you ain't going to need. Recline it to where you want to be at. So it's reclined with this. Yeah, it's pretty much where we wanted it. Turn it rear facing. Mm -hmm. Put the seat belt through the back. And that's it. By the way, I do have an olive with me. Dang, and drop the phone cup holder. What? Y'all holding the baby at the same time. Y'all bear with me. And how's this thing supposed to reach the other side? I'm feeling something, but I don't think it's sleep up. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, I got it. Alright, alright. Yes. So this the uh, I guess you could clip it in that other way too with this. With this? Oh, uh, mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Clip it in like the car seat. So I'm gonna bring it to that side. You pull them both slacks? The bottom slack don't pull. So we're doing this seat belt way. Going through here and on to the other side. And come out here. And then go down. So now flip it. Hmm? Flip it. Oh, yeah. Hold on. All right. So basically what we did at this point, we just tightened it on that side. We just kept on pulling the slack until we felt like it was good enough. Pro tip, I would make sure, like, keep pulling the part that's above the shoulder. Keep pulling it into the lock and then push the seat down first and then pull it because it's going to keep locking every time because it's sense resistance or whatever so keep doing that so now i did that and it's in here really good so we're just gonna zip, um zip this up my only thing is how do you like handle this like when you just want to randomly adjust the seat can you still put your hand down there can you let's see Ooh. Ooh. That'd be a tough one. So you will probably have to do this all over again in order to adjust the recline. But you can see right here that it's still on real facing. So it's still pretty good. Now we are really about to get ready to go. I know it's probably like weird lighting in here. Really ready to go. We've been plotting all day to do this and uh, we'll do the other car seat later. No need to film it twice. Um, but I guess we're about to hit up Kirkland's and some stores and see what's popping. We are on our way out. We are headed to Kirkland's finally. Yeah, looking for some Christmas stuff or whatever. Christmas deco, stuff. Decorations. We're, we're in the Christmas spirit if you haven't seen little bits and pieces around our house. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about being a little bit more happy. Now, I don't want to speak too soon. But I am finally in the front seat. So, I have put it together, the reasons why I've been in the back seat so long. Because I remember on our last vlog video, people were like, child, you still in the back seat? I'm like, I know. But I realized the reason why I was in the back seat, and I didn't know this until now, when we put this new convertible car seat in, and it is back there, so she is cozy, and she is drinking her bottle, is because if you uh have a car seat and it really depends on how your back seats are and the car seat that you have but the car seat that we had with the type of seats we have the car seat the infant car seat was sitting too far up for her to i guess be cozy or comfortable so you know it took her a long time to be able to sit up and hold her head up and all this disrespectful so she really is still learning how to hold her bottle and stuff like that so the reason why I was in the back seat was because I had to keep feeding her and handing her stuff and you know it was just that whole shabam so I noticed now with this car seat that she's actually reclined enough that to where she's comfortable she's not trying to sit up but she's just more comfortable in this one than she was in the other one and I never really liked how 
how much she was sitting forward in the other one anyway. So I am very interested to see with new baby how the new nut Pippa car seat goes. I don't think we ever showed the nut car seat either. No, I haven't shown it to him yet. We gotta show you that too. So now I am in the front seat. But the only thing I don't like is that now it feels like she throws everything out of this car seat. Like she didn't do that with the other car seat. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> she throws everything out of it and every two seconds I'm like giving her stuff so that was the whole reason why I was in the back seat too because I don't want to be like leaning back trying to always hand her stuff. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. You see she built a collection right there. That's going to be annoying real fast. That's huge. That's a large. That's too big. I guess they clothes run big in here. No, are you chilling? It's too chilling. Jojo be everywhere. She be winning. What you doing? Mm. Touching stuff. Mm. What you doing? You got the dog, a dog bed. Had to get green because you know it's Christmas time. So. <laughs> See, this is the type of pillows I'm talking about. I love this tree. Yeah, it's a nice tree. One day. That's a pretty tree. It's a nice pillow. Thirty dollars. It's got Beyonce. Thirty dollars. Look at this. That's forty-one dollars. How much is that? Too much. <laughs> Don't need to ask me no more questions. <laughs> oh Lord, this is what happens when you got a baby. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, she pooping out the side of her pants. On both sides, child. Time to change. Time to change her. She ain't going to match this time. Gotta take these shoes off, but it is what it is. So, there's a couple of things that happened. <laughs> David the got unexpected. Up. David got a bag full of stuff. All of this, all of everything we got wasn't planned for. Yeah, <laughs> everything we got. But we done did a little bit of shopping, child. We about to go to Kohl's. Baby girl is in a whole brand new outfit. We had to go inside. Styling. Huh? Got Styling, profiling. Jessica Simpson, I'll look at well, the color. I'll, I'll show her once we take her out for okay. put her in the car seat. Look at this little sleeper. Nala, Nala, look. It's like the little sideways and it got the little pearl look. You see it? It's so cute all down the list. And it's a sleeper. It's right on time because we can put her to bed and this child. But it's cold so we have to get sleeves and everything like that. He's a big girl. Big girl. Look at you. Don't eat your feet now. Don't eat your feet. <laughs> 